Hi guys! Kumusta po kayo? Maayong gabi! Kumusta mo diha? Maayong buntag! Maayong budto! As kung asa man mo karoon, nag-lantaw ani nga video. So, for today guys, um, i-share na ko sa inyo kung giyon sa nako na pag-apply ang um, Canadian citizenship. So, uh, na ba ko na ako ninyo, naka-albot to Dre sa Canada 2015 uh, through a special visa sa akong husband. And then, um, uh, dito ko nag-land sa uh, Alberta, Canada. First na akong move diri sa, sa Canada, dito ko sa Alberta. In 2019, nag-move me sa akong bana diri sa Ontario, Canada kay ang young parents na aman diri. So, my status uh, when I came here is, is, uh, is as an immigrant. So, na ako ay uh, permanent resident after I uh, I moved here. Naabot ako ang permanent resident. I think it was, if I am not mistaken, it was um, two weeks sa Canada. So, you are automatically an immigrant and you are holding a permanent residency card. So, um, permanent resident is um, valid for 5 years. So, after that, uh, pwede kang mag-renew, i-renew ni mo ang iyong card para <clears throat> kay kung dili ni mo i-renew yung card, if ever na kay plan mo add to sa Pilipinas, na uh, kay plan mo ato sa laing na so example sa US, dili ka makabalik diri sa Canada kung ang imuhang permanent resident card is expired. So, kung ayaw ka, kung dili ka gusto mag-apply uh, as a citizenship to become a Canadian, pwede you can still have the permanent residency as long as ang imong card is not expired and as long as wala kay balak mo gawas sa Canada or yeah, mag, like magbakasyon. So, kata siya. So, 2019, nag-move me here. Ako sa kaobas akong bana and I decided sana unta nga dili na, dili na kong mag-apply uh, og citizenship. Ako na lang i-renew ang ako hang permanent residency. But, some of my friends and most of my friends are um, suggesting me na to apply Canadian citizenship as well as akong bana. Uh, he is encouraging me to really apply for the Canadian citizenship. So, um, 2020, nag-decide ko nga mag-apply ko. Kay, uh, expire naman ang ako hang, <laughs> ang ako hang um, permanent resident. So, 2015, I came here July. So, 2020, July as well, mag-expire na siya. So, before the July of 2020, I, um, it was March 2020. Um, uh, within that time range before that uh, March end uh, and I inquired ko how to apply for Canadian citizenship so the first thing na, na you have to consider na apply ka as a Canadian citizenship is um, you are eligible so you, uh, you are a permanent residency uh, status then, how long have you been in Canada? So, at least na atay uh, 3 years of the 5 years na nag-stay ta diri sa Canada. As long as within that 5 years, naka-stay ka sa Canada for 3 years. So, and then I got all my documents needed. So, my passport, um, valid ID, the PR card. So, I applied it online. I mean, I, I searched, I googled it online, citizenship application, step by step. Ginafollow uh, lang na ako. Dahil um, nagpay ko online. And then, uh, ginaprint na ako ang lahat, tanang documents na kinahanglan. And then, after na kompleto na ako tanan ang documents, um, ako ang forward sa CIC, Immigration Citizenship. Canada, uh, March 2020. Kasagsaga ng pandemic. <laughs> and the process uh, takes a little bit longer as uh, it was expected kay uh, agi sa pandemic. So, 
uh, my form was received to CIC uh, September of 2020 so from March April May June July August September so six months when they receive my application so that means receive when they open my documents so uh, in the sta uh, in the status uh, it was be stated that uh, um, the date that, that the the application was filed so it was on the table na na receive na nila ang papers ang akong documents uh, uh, ng time so it takes six months na na receive nila ang akong papers so kung magunong na ako pa asa na akong papel ay dugay man kayo ba na abot wala pa ko na dawat na notification wala ko na dawat nga confirmation nga na receive nila ang akong documents so na action ko kabalaka pero nagulat lang ko sa sa um, sa notification or confirmation na na-receive nila ang akong uh, documents kay uh, agi nga sa pandemic uh, ang processing uh, time ay uh, takes a little bit longer so moto dayon after se september so uh, i get another notification in january 2021 so from september 2020 so that is uh, october november december january so after four year i mean four months na pod nakadawat na pod ko og notification na gina-check na nila akong background gina-verify nila ang akong whereabouts na uh, um, kung uh, okay ba so and then September again of 2021 so that's January so from 6 months 4 months and then January February March April May June, July, August, September, another eight months of waiting, um, and I'm gonna receive notification na citizens citizenship test activity status updated. So na ako confirmation na maka uh, maka exam na ko, maka take na ko og kanang citizenship exam, and then same month I got a I got a schedule. For, for my citizenship test so what I did para get to get ready with the schedule or meant to get ready for my citizenship test because it's online dahil uh, sa pandemic so online ko na take of test so ang mga preparation na akong gihimo is uh, na asila yung ibutang dito na dito, na dito sa ibutang sa imuhang notifications na asila yung ibutang website kung pwede ka mag study nga itong website or if you have the book na ginahatag nila sa imu sa upon entry here in Canada so if you have this kind of book discover Canada all the questions is just in here so you have to study the book this book particularly uh, all the questions are in here and also I practice the online um, online test I just up, uh, download it in my phone and I practice it every day and the last thing that I did is uh, like a week before the exam I, I read and I, I read again the book and another practice uh, the online test so everything is in the book tanan na questions na ara diri so basahon lang ninyo no need to memorize you just have to familiarize kung unsa na diri sa book uh, basically it's all about uh, can basic Canadian history so na ara diri tanan ang, ang questions and answer sa citizenship test so tanan questions na diri so Sa yun ra siya, basta yung muha lang siyang studyhan, basahon, o muha lang siyang i-familiarize. And it's all about just basic Canadian history. So, muha lang siya akong gibuhat, uh, nag-exam ko. Uh, it's my first uh, first uh, time uh, to take the exam. And I was uh, grateful na napasa na ako ang exam. So, I was so happy <laughs> sa exam. I, I exit right away. I don't know. If uh, that's the last thing na buhaton, but basta exit lang na ako siya right away after na ako nabasa nga, congratulations, you pass. So, <laughs> again, nag-worried na po ko kay, uh, uh, kay, ay, kay isa akong ka-excited, wala na ako gibasa ang sa isunod na instruction ato. But, um, 
So yun, uh, September, oh, so I got the schedule, so test, and then September, and then the next month I got the actual citizenship uh, exam. So, and then uh, October, I mean sorry, November, the next month, uh, after I take the test, to check my prohibition activities, be updated, on uh, uh, November as uh, uh, the same month of November uh, to check my physical appearance activities so sa akong ginaingon at least na atay 3 years out of 5 years stay here in Canada and they also check my language skills activity status ako wala na ko nagkuha og IELTS because um uh, I asked some of my uh, co-workers before who are also now a Canadian citizen nag-ask ko nila kung kinahanan pa ba ko mag IELTS but they said na as long as I have my transcript of record if you are college graduate so pwede na to siya na mo ibutang dito as your um, sa English skills activities ni mo and then um, March of 2022 I got an update for my citizenship status in the same uh, month I got a uh, confirmation for my oath taking ceremony and the schedule was uh, also uh, stated and was given given to me and then so that was from uh, uh october since i take the test so 2021 last year in november i got a status update um march this year so that's from september i got ex an exam last year september 2021 so october i mean october i got the test 2021 and march I got a citizenship status, so that was October, November, December, January, February, March. Uh, uh, pa po na I update regarding sa akong citizenship status and uh, confirmation for a citizenship test form required in the schedule of the of the o taking. So the next month. April, which is April 2022, mo na akong um, month na nag ko. It was April 19, 2022. So, yun, mo to siya. Uh, from September na na-receive nila until September, to, uh, so from September, I mean, from March na akong gisubmit ang akong documents of 2020, 2020 I received ni like September 2020 and then taking ko April 2022. So it's a year and seven months. I didn't include the, the months that I submitted. I just include counting the months na ilang na receive ang akong documents until the time of my out taking. So one year and seven months. <laughs> So, gaana siya kadugay kay Agi sa pandemic, that is why. But I understand, and I was so patient na nag, uh, nagulatsud ko sa akong results, but I was so happy and was so grateful and so uh, blessed na I finally got my Canadian citizen. So, I'm so thankful uh, for being here in Canada and, and uh, a better opportunity for me. So, mawato siya. <laughs> so, sayon ra siya, guys. So, inyo lang isearch ang uh, kung ikaw, kung kamo nag uh, nag uh, nag huna, huna nga mag-file o uh, mo apply o Canadian citizenship. Isearch lang ninyo ang documents na kinahanglan online. I-follow ninyo siya, mag-pay ka. And then, uh, uh, print all the documents. You can also, uh, Pwede po ka mag-file uh, online but uh, ako ay I, I prefer na I, I send my paperwork 
I emailed my I, I mail my paperwork to the office. So auto siya nag email ko sa kong documents and then nagulat ko kung kano sa exam and then another preparation for the exam. Just study the book. Nakatok uh, kong giingon. Um, discover Canada book or the online uh, app na pwede ni mong uh, studyhan na ako dari. So, kani siya nga app. Mau ni siya akong gigamit. Ayan, ito makita ninyo. So, mau na akong gigamit nga app. Kana siya nga app akong gigamit. Nag-study ko ano online. Practice test online. But, importante good na um, Mastadihan ni mo ang book. Kay naara gyud dito at tanan na question. Tanang questions nagabase ra gyud diri sa book. So, you familiarize all the basic history of Canada. And you will be good. So, more to guys. I hope na may na nakuha na information ato uh, kung gi-share sa inyo karon. So, God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. If you are new to our channel, please uh, support and uh, subscribing and uh, tap the notification bell para updated ka mo sa atong mga, mga sunod na video. God bless everyone. Bye for now. See you next time.